Hello everyone, my name is Armin, welcome to my gaming channel. I'll be continuing my Let's Play series of Pillars of Eternity. In the last episode we managed to clear out the fourth level of the Endless Paths of Vodnua. So right now we are at level 5 and let's slowly get, get on to scouting and clearing out the area. We got Zorib's here. At least three of them. Four. Looks like it. Okay, so let's get here. Let's get on with it. Okay, let him come closer. And now. Let's drop the buffs. Okay, because the high priests here looks like it. Need to focus on them. Let's try to find a nice spot to use the fan of flames. I go here or there, where I could potentially move a little, so I won't get hit by the effect. Okay, let's drop a, another buff here, or we could drop a debuff. Iconic projection. This will be good enough. There we go. Actually, need to use the invocations here. Okay, let's move along. I'll go on ahead. Hmm. Master staircase. It's here. Of course. Now, for now, there is a master staircase. Every odd level. Uh, later on, there will be they will be a little bit less frequent. Just say the word. Okay, more of these Zorids. A whole bunch, actually. Could drop a trap here, for that matter. An AOE trap would be good. If I had a frost trap, it would be even better. But I'm gonna stick to a. Okay, little darts simply. I'm gonna do something different this time. I'm gonna go and try to provoke them. Coming closer. Potentially forcing them to step into the trap. Okay. Here they come. And a bunch of buffs, some AoE. Okay, 
Hmm. Let's drop a cleansing flame here. This continues to burn damage for five seconds and accelerates the timer for for all beneficial effects. And that would be a bit of overkill, I believe. I believe more beneficial would be to use this. Okay. Skirmisher there in the back. Okay, almost done. Leave it to me. notice those guys there so I don't have any cloaking here fortunately This is a good position to use the fan of flames. Maybe a bit overkill, but doesn't matter that much. Course. Okay. Quick and quiet. Camping supplies. However, I have max cinnamon amount right now. Let's see what we have here. Okay, a bunch of Zorisps surrounded by a surrounding a high priest. Let's drop another trap here. Wait a moment and try to provoke them in here. And this is a the door situation here, as I would call it. Let's go. Have limited access here. So I need to switch to a range weapon. I'm on, on it. Stand. Together. Uh. Let's focus on the high piece with our range attacks. Have to leave that out. Let's drop a chill fog. Let's drop a blessing here. Back up. Just... 
There we go. Hey. All right. Something is in here. Then let's take a look at this. Ouch. Okay, this was the trigger to this room. Let's take a look in here. Look there. Mm. One trap. Two traps there. Looks like it. There are no traps here. So that's fine. Ornate sword hilt. Some cash. Some more. Hey. Keeping quiet. Fine weapons. Let's take a look here. Okay, no en no enemies inside, so let's clear okay. these traps. Before I, I before I step Just up them. The hey. Hey. Some kind of a blood pool here. Nope. Hmm. No point in turning back now. Hmm. I think about the seals, huh? Okay. Just say the word. Let's take a closer hey. look. Flames and organs bobbed in this mire of blood and crystal, huh? Hmm. Quite grim. Quite a gruesome death, looks like it. Hey. Yeah. Fine hatchet and a few other stuff. Hey. Just say the word. Okay, got a Drake here. Hmm. More sacrificed. Honored. Hmm. Red honor string for a lizard's blood for painting, huh? Exorb sacrifice to you. Are you the master of below? Master of below is below. Sacrifice is not very smart, huh? Here I am king. I'm a god of fire and gold, huh? Okay, quick. Cloaking here. Nothing will slip past me. Okay, we got a huge amount of enemies here. However, we also have enough space to use some of those AoE attacks here. Like I'm gonna need the excuse me for that. I'm gonna need more invocations here, so I'm gonna go and switch to the shadow deconcentration so that I can accumulate phrases faster. Okay, this is a good shot here. Well, that Drake has high fire resistance there. Okay, now let's use the spark of righteous souls here. Where? 
Okay, some extra damage dealt. Should have used the combusting wounds first. Okay, now let's use a smoke cloud here. Let's drop a watchful presence just in case. I felt that I'm gonna need it critically, but. Good, I suppose. Could use the noxious burst, but I feel like a crackling bolt might be benef more beneficial here. Let's drop it. Let's, let's paralyze the Drake. There you go. A lot of junk items here. And I also got Elfen Ringar Solace and Medium Shield. Thing is, I don't use Medium Shields that much. So, let's simply take the stuff and let's go further. Okay, up to the next level. Hmm. Level six. Quick and quiet. Let's take a closer look. What do we got there? Skeletons. Looks like it. Bunch of them. These guys are immune to poison, so poison traps won't work. Pierce traps as well. Be too good. Fire traps won't be the most beneficial potentially. No, this is also pierce, so. Fire traps it is. Can do. Hey. You're not getting through me. Okay. Leave it to me. Focus here. Let's focus on the rogue. So have enough space here. See I'll drop the chant of flames. Yes. Okay. Can move a bit. Also, I need to switch the positions here because this is not a good spot at all. Hmm. Now, fan of flames. Need a better spot for that. I could 
pull back a little bit, that would be most beneficial there. Looks like I'm gonna need to postpone that for now. The word. Let's drop a holy radiance here. Motion up to faithful. Let's get a blast on. Drop the shield crashing here. Suppose that's better than nothing. Okay, looks like we triggered another group there. Take care of that wizard because he's somewhat annoying in the moment. Let's use escape here, jump through. Gonna use the venom strike. Not sure if this will work, if this is counted as poison or not, but let's see. Okay, immune, so. It is counted as poison. Good to know. Let's knock this guy down. Gonna go and use the. Okay, another group looks like it. Grab a circle of protection here. We're going to need it. Now let's drop the fan of flames here. Drop a wall of flame here, actually. I don't have anything in the back, so I can use that without worries here. Let's pull back a little to get burned there. Drop a paralysis here. Hey, and there's a bit too close there for comfort. Mm. Let's go. That was quite a bloodbath, I must admit. Didn't expect to tri trigger three groups here. Well, that's what I get for not scouting fully. Anyway, let's, let's move further, let's clear out the area. Another group here. Some rogues, fighter, ranger, and a wizard. Need to take care of them fast. Of course. So let's use escape here. Jump through them. Hey. 
going straight for the wizard there. Wizards down, so now the ranger. You can okay. Okay, assault. One other ranger here. Can use the smoke cloud here. You better run. Distract him a bit. Yeah. Okay. Hey. There we go. That went nicely. How about that? Okay, another of these seals. Okay. Let's take a closer look here. On the other side. Nothing will slip past me. Another wizard. Got a dark ghoul hill here as well. Only two of them, so this won't be too difficult. Can do. Let's trigger a rogue here. Do something like this. Let's get on the wizard here. Here and another seal. Okay, looks like we've got all of the seals. Got a unique medium armor here. Pierce proof safeguarding. 10% of incoming crits converted to hits. And Pierce reduction and is a fine armor. Hmm. Wait a second, I have here Code of Ill Payment Retaliation Exceptional of Resolve hmm. Let's take a closer look here Would this be better? Well, for it surely has that better recovery speed. It's also pierce proof and has safeguarding. So Chris would be converted to hits. It would however lack retaliation. When it comes to quality I can simply upgrade it. Also grant some attribute bonuses there. It already has proofing, so hmm. well, I could use that. Gonna go and upgrade it. It's supposed to resolve here. I'm gonna go and give it to him. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So let's look here. And what does the flame reveal? Like a white leaf there. And another group here. Two rangers, two wizards, three dargles, two fighters. Okay. I pull back a little. Let's move there. Huh. Well, let's get them. We got a couple of wizards here. Also got a quite large group here. Looks like it. Let's use the holy radiance to debug them a little. This is a fine spot to use the fan of flames here. So let's do that. Let's use the shield of the faithful here. Now those rangers here. Another arcane assault. Let's crash the shields. There we go. Okay. That went nice. Okay, what do we have here? Quick and quiet. Junk items. Hey, okay. uh, the only way to go is here. I'll see what I can find. Let's see. One dark gold there. A couple of dark golds, a rogue, a fire. I'm not sure if there is anything else further there. Let's drop the trap here. Just say the word. Alright, well. You're not getting through me. We got one ranger in the back. Well, that's not too much, actually. I'm not gonna go and trouble myself with that one. Go and focus on the dargles here. Okay, that was 
the last. Oops. Triggered a second group there. <laughs> Looks like it. Hmm. Need someone here fast. Let's use an arcane veil to boost the defense here. So it's holy radiance too. Try and get some a better position here. Let's use another lasting wounds spell here. Just say the word. Use coordinated position here. This way, the wizard will be in a tough spot in the middle of my warriors. All right, good. There we go. Almost. Okay. Let's grab all the stuff here. Margarine's fire cast light in dark. I'm bringing Dennis cash. Another expedition log. Hmm. I am remaining to seals so long as we leave afterwards as Merrick promised. Hmm. Okay, what do we have here? I'm here. Hmm. There's nothing here, huh? Hmm. Now we've got or there are three sockets here one with an eye, with a an hammer and with a sword and I need to put the seals in the right order here in the right slots otherwise I won't be able to open the door the trick is that the seals have engravings at the back of the eye which is written in the description so sapphire seal has an eye the peridot one has a hammer the bloodstone one has a sword so I need to put them in the let's see left socket is an eye so there we need to put the sapphire seal Now the middle socket, the sword, I need to put the bloodstone seal. The right socket with the hammer, I need to put the peridot one. So now I can try to open the door. There we go. So that's open. Interesting. Got another trap here. Some cash, some here. Okay, so now you also have a promotion for, for Eldwood. However, I'm gonna leave that for next episode because we are already over 30 minutes. 
Thank you guys for watching, I hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe and comment my videos, let me know how you feel about them. And I hope I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you around.